Hi, Sharon Danley here, and I have a little video on how to knit a baby bunny or baby Yoda the fast and easy way. I've been knitting these sweet little things over the past month or so as I've been recovering from a respiratory problem. And so many people like them that I thought I would show you how to do them. And as it turns out, they were so cute that my nephew asked me to make one like a baby Yoda. So that's exactly what I did by just changing the setup uh, or the finishing a little bit. So first of all, we simply knit in a garter stitch a square. Use whatever cast on method works for you and for the little baby ones I only cast on 15 stitches, 25 for a medium, 30 or 35 depending on the size you want. Once you've finished your square then you simply lift over one side to measure to make sure that it is a square, it's as simple as that. And then once you're finished, you've got the size that you want, then you simply cast off in the usual manner and thread the end through as demonstrated here. Next, you're going to create a triangle. I'm showing you here with a lighter piece of wool to show exactly where the triangle goes. Oh, and the line going across the bottom, I like to, that separates the top from the bottom of the body, I like to go a little bit lower uh, so that it, it just balances out the whole look. And I've tried this through experiments and I find that going a little bit lower than the exact center works best. Now, all you need to do is use the same color wool and slip stitch in a triangle as demonstrated here. And I've used this yellow marker to show where I want to be right in the center because the either side of the triangle is what's going to form the ears. Then you pull it together as shown here and then stuff it with your regular stuffing or batting that you can get anywhere. Then once you have the head shape the way you want, you pull the ties together and tie it really good and tightly, knot it, secure it, and then cut off the excess, leaving enough to sew the back, down the back of the little bunny or Yoda as shown here. Next, we're going to add some more of that same batting into the base or bottom of the bunny or the Yoda and shape it the way you want, get it as full as you want, and then you simply sew up the end as shown. With the Yoda, I sew straight across. With the bunny, I go around in a circle with a slip stitch and pull it tight so it's rounded on the bottom. And there you have an example with the Yoda. And that particular Yoda, I used 35 stitches, so I knitted a four stitch uh, scarf to go around the Yoda. As shown, you knit it the length you want, knot it, weave in the end, and tie it in. Now I'm going to show you how to do a face on a bunny because that was too dark to demonstrate on the Yoda. Using finer black wool, I simply create a knot bury the end and then simply sew back and forth to create an eye and a bigger eye if possible. Then I slip the stitch underneath to the other side and create the second eye. And then I come down below that eye and one stitch across to the other eye and then go up underneath to create uh, the smile by doing one stitch over top of the long one and pulling it down. I simply put the stitch through to the back and tie it in a knot securely and slip it through the bottom and cut off the excess. And now it's time to make the little cottontail for the bunny. I simply wrap the white thread around the fork about 15 times, come through, knot it nice and tight, and then simply cut through the loops and fluff it up. And then with the little extra thread that's left, I sew the bunny, attach it to the back, and in the most secure way I can, voila! a little bunny with a little cotton tail. 
So there you have either a bunny or a Yoda. It all depends on how you want to shape the ears. Cute, adorable, everybody loves them. For whatever purpose or however you want to uh, share them with, give them to, or whatever, Easter's on its way, so this might be a good project for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're looking for more, I'm going to add these kinds of projects to this particular channel. So be sure to subscribe and share with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you next time.